Hello everyone and welcome once again to Prof Dan Tutorials. Please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Kindly subscribe, please. Okay, our topic today is on uh, explicit and implicit functions. Um, at the end of today's lesson, you should be able to differentiate between explicit and implicit functions and you should be able to convert from an implicit function to an explicit function. Oh, to start with, what is an explicit function? This is a function that is directly expressed. Now, what do we mean? Uh, let's quickly look at this. You have something like this. Um, y equals 2x squared plus uh, 3x. In this equation, the variable y is directly expressed in terms of 2x squared plus 3x. So when you have something like this, where one variable stand out like a subject, then you say it is an explicit function. This subject is totally depending on the value of variable x. And so you call that subject, which is y in this case, a dependent variable. A dependent variable because it is totally depending on the input value of variable x. For example, let's say if x is equals to 1, what would be the equivalent value of variable y? So we can have in the equation substituting x as 1, it gives 2 x squared. Now it is 1 squared plus 3 into 1. And so your y is going to give you 2 plus 3, which is 5. So when x is 1, y is 5. We got this 5 as a result of the value of 1. So this 1, which is for x variable, is independent. Independent. Y the variable y is depending on the value of x. So that is why y is a dependent variable and it is the subject. Equation in this form is referred to as explicit function. What then is an implicit function? It is directly opposite to explicit function. In this case, there is no one variable or quantity directly expressed as the other one. So we can have something like this. 2xy plus uh, 3y, let's say minus 4x is equals to 0. So in this equation, there is no one variable, for example, x or y, that is directly expressed in this form as a subject. So this is an implicit function. Okay, now an implicit function can be converted into an explicit function. For example, if this says make x the subject of the formula here or make y the subject of the formula what do we have so we have something like this let's have we have a uh, 2xy plus 3y minus 4x is equals to 0 now we want to express y explicitly so that is make y subject of the formula so our focus is going to be on this y so how can we do that so uh, we can rewrite these as 2xy plus 3y equals to and transfer this other to the other side which would be 4x our focus is on y which is common to these two terms so we can bring y out and what are we going to have left here? After taking y out, it remains 2x. So we have 2x plus y is out from 3y. We'll be left with 3. So it's equals to 4x. Our focus is on y. We have 2x plus 3 as a coefficient to y. So to get y out, we divide both sides by that coefficient. 
so x plus 3 in this case over 2x plus 3 is going to give us 4x divided by 2x plus 3. So now this term can cancel out this term. You are left with y is equals to 4x divided by 2x plus 3. So in this case, y has been expressed explicitly in terms of x. So y is the subject now. So this equation now is an explicit function. We got it from the implicit function given. Okay, I believe you understand now. So let's look at a, a very good example. A very good example. So uh, this says express y as an explicit function in this given one. Okay, so let's write out our equation. We have 2x squared minus 2xy plus y squared equals a squared. Our target is on y. Okay, so we can rewrite that as a y squared minus 2xy. I can write this, uh, that's plus 2x squared. I can bring a squared into the left side, so that is going to be minus a squared equals 0. Okay, since our focus is on variable y, the power of y here is 2, the power of y here is 1, and in the remaining terms, there, are no, there is no y. So now this can conform to what we call the general quadratic equation that says ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. In this case, since our interest is on y, let's write it as ay squared okay, plus by plus c is equal to 0. Zero. So this is the general quadratic equation which we want to compare with our main identity here. So let's call this two. Comparing these two, now if you have a y squared, a is the coefficient of y squared here, b is the coefficient of y, and uh, c is a constant here. Uh, compare equation one and two y squared y squared a so beside y squared here is an invisible one so that means we can say a is equals to one let's look at the, the variable y in the equation two the coefficient of variable y is minus 2x the coefficient of variable y in equation one is b so we can say our b is equals to minus 2 x and c is a constant which with y raised to power 0 y power 2 y power 1 y power 0 remember anything raised to the power of 0 is 1 1 times c is c that is why we did not write the y here so that means if we compare 1 and 2 again our constant c here is directly the whole of this can be taken as a c is equals to 2 x squared minus a squared what approach are we going to use here we are going to use the approach of what we call the general quadratic equation formula that says for one now uh, we can have y if you record the general formula is equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a so uh, it's generally x but since we change our x to y in this case so all we need to do now is to substitute all these values of a b and c we've gotten from our equation and so if we do that and simplify we're going to have y equals minus b our b value is minus 2x i put minus 2x plus or minus square root of uh, b squared that's minus 2x squared minus 4ac so my a is 1 and my c is 2x squared 
minus a squared. So all of this is divided by 2a. So over 2a is 1. So all we need to do now is just to simplify for the and be very careful when you are simplifying so you get your simplified answer. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, we can have y equals, of course, my negative times negative is positive. So that is going to give us left with plus 2x written as 2x plus or minus square root of, let's expand this, minus 2x all squared. That is negative all squared, which becomes positive. That is negative times negative. And 2x all squared means 2 squared, which is 4, and x squared, which is still x squared. So that's going to leave us with uh, 4x squared. Okay. Uh, minus uh, 4 times 1 is 4. So we have minus 4 into... 2x squared minus a squared all over 2 times 1 now is 2. We can continue simplifying to have 2x plus or minus square root of uh, this is 4x squared. Let's open up this bracket. Minus 4 multiplies everything inside. So we have minus 4 times 2x squared. That's going to give us minus 8x squared and minus 4 multiplies minus a squared is going to give us plus 4a squared because negative times negative will give you positive so all over 2 and so still simplifying further we can have 2x plus or minus square root of these two terms are identical so 4x squared minus 8x squared is going to leave us with minus 4x squared, then we are left with 4a squared all over 2. Still simplifying further, we have 2x plus or minus square root of. Now, if you look here, the coefficient of x squared is 4, the coefficient of a squared is also 4, so we can bring the 4 out. So if we bring the 4 out, we'll be left with uh, minus x squared plus a squared, which we can write as a squared minus x squared. Okay, it's getting simpler all over 2. Then we have a y to give us a 2x plus or minus. Remember, in mathematics, if you have, if you have something like this, um, square root of x, y, it simply means the square root of x times square root of y. So if we have the whole of this now, we can put it as square root of 4, which is also multiplying the root of uh, a squared minus x squared all over 2. Okay, so let's simplify further and see what we're going to have. So we can have a y to be equals to 2x plus or minus square root of 4 is 2. So we are left with the root of a squared minus x squared, all divided by 2. We can simplify further. The numerator has something in common. This is 2 and this is 2. If we bring the 2 out, we'll be left with the 2 factorized from 2x will be left with x plus or minus square root of a squared minus x squared all over 2. And of course, from this, the 2 on top can cancel the 2 at the bottom. So our y is now x plus or minus square root of a squared minus x squared. In this, we have gotten, in the left-hand side is y, which is the subject, and in the right-hand side is the variable x and the constant a. So y has been expressed explicitly in terms of this. Thank you very much, and that is all on today's video. Uh, please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.